Why did you quit Dota? I told the story a few times before, so I apologize if you've heard it. Um, I was playing probably like, I don't know, two plus hours a night of Dota, which is like four games, maybe three games. And then one day I was like, how much of that time is actually fun? And it was like, maybe like 35% of it at a maximum. There's like a lot of days where it was like basically zero. Um, it's not a, Dota is not really fun if you're losing is my experience because you see the loss coming a long time in advance of when the loss actually hits so you spend about a third of every lost game just knowing you're gonna lose and waiting for it to actually happen not fun um so i said you know i'm in my mid-20s at this point i could probably be doing better stuff with my time and uh that's ex I, I basically just quit that night and said that's it you know i'm, I'm going to do better stuff with my time so when I took that two to three hours times seven, I became a, a casual middle distance runner, started running 10K, like, I mean, you started with like 5K, started with 2K, then got to 5K, then got to 10K, um, was running, I don't know, maybe like 30, 40 miles a week, was in a great groove, twisted my, uh, twisted my knee, tore my meniscus running on the beach, had to find something else to do with my time. Started making eight YouTube videos a day. And here I stand before you. That's basically, that's the progression. So basically what I'm saying is I quit Dota and, and that actually like maybe get my life together. Which is like a great real world example of doing a smart and good thing, I think. But I'm sure you've probably got it figured out too. You're just like, no, I'm just going to keep playing and I'll just figure out how to have fun with it later. Anyway. I'm hoping that quitting Rumbleverse doesn't ruin my life. 